Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. 2023 brings us the release of a brand new fragrance by Marc Antoine Barrois. This one of course is called Ganymed Extra. And in today's Cephalobon contributor video, I'm gonna be telling you all about this fragrance, what it smells like, where you can get it. I'm also gonna let you in on a very special giveaway opportunity. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on the brand new Ganymed Extra by Marc Antoine Barrois, I'll tell you about this fragrance, the notes, the performance, the longevity, all that good stuff. But I do want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. And because this is a Cephalobon contributor video, you have the opportunity to win a bottle. All you have to do is go on over to cephalobon.com. It's going to be the first link down below in the description box. After you become a registered reader, just leave a comment on the article and that's all you have to do to enter for your chance to take home a bottle. It's really, really simple. Otherwise, if you're looking forward to sampling it either in store or if you just want to make a purchase, Indigo Perfumery has this one. They're based out of Ohio. They are absolutely amazing. They have a lot of really hard to find niche brands and they just have such a nice and wide selection of different fragrances. I've personally been there in person once many years ago and I look forward to the day when I get a chance to visit them again. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to leave those relevant links down below as well. So Indigo is absolutely amazing. So I do have the original Ganymed and whenever I think of this one, I think of resins, I think of saffron, I think of leather, incense. The original, of course, there's also Akigala wood and mineral notes and violet and immortel and osmanthus, a little bit of mandarin in orange as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So with the X-ray version, of course, people will have the impression, hey, this is going to be stronger, richer, longer lasting, more concentrated. Well, I'll give you my thoughts on that in just a bit. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get that rich, resinous, incense. I know myrrh is listed as an ingredient in here and it's so rich, it's so dense, it's so thick and so viscous and it's so beautifully done. There's also this note of saffroline and saffroline of course smells like saffron and saffron also smells like suede leather. So it does have this leathery component that I also get from the original. So it's this combination of like balsamic rich resinous ingredients and then you also have a touch of that leather, that suede leather that is so rich, so smooth and elegant and seductive happening in the dry down. It's really quite special. I don't really get the mineral notes so much in the X-ray version, but I do get the Immortel. The Immortel for me has always been the star of the show. That alongside the saffron, of course, or the saffroline. And as far as the Immortel is concerned, it smells like hay. It smells like honey, it's mellifluous, it smells like tobacco. So it has all of this richness in the heart, that orangey warmth in the opening is so beautiful. You have the immortel in the heart, the resins and the leather slash saffron in the dry down. This is a beautiful, beautiful composition by Kenton Biche, who has also done Delina by Parfum de Marly. He's done fragrances for Etat Libre d'Orange. He's done so many beautiful fragrances and this is one of the best releases of the year and I stand firmly when I say that. This is an amazing fragrance and I personally do own a few other fragrances including B683 by Marc Antoine Barrois. Everything that this brand puts out I absolutely love it. Now I'm not going to make this so much of a comparison video with the original Ganymed but what I will say is that the extra it's richer, it's longer lasting, the longevity is there. The projection is just about the same. If anything, this one is a little bit more subdued, but the longevity is there. So whereas with the original I might get in the vein of like eight hours or something like that, with this one I'll get 10 to 12 hours. It's so strongly concentrated. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, if you have the chance to check it out at Indigo Perfumery, I would highly recommend you do so because this is one that should quickly rise to the top of your two sniff list. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. 
Now first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, surely this is a very unique fragrance, unless you're comparing it to the original Ganymede. <laughs> and then the similarities will be quite abundant and apparent. But at the end of the day, this is a wonderful fragrance. Overall smell, it's quite edgy and unique with the leather and the resins and the immortel, the citrus. So it's a very interesting combination of notes. Longevity on this one, 10, 11 hours easily. Projection was pretty subtle for the first half hour of application it radiated within an arm's length it didn't become an elbows length scent until around that seven to seven and a half hour mark right at that 10 to 12 hour mark is when it became a skin scent if you put this on clothing it's going to last you the whole day and then some versatility on this one perfectly unisex in my opinion great for a dressed up scenario better for the colder weather because of how strong it is and i truly think that somebody who's a little bit older and a little bit more experienced in dealing with niche fragrances will probably enjoy this one a little bit more than somebody a bit younger, perhaps a high school or, or an early college student or something like that. As far as the presentation is concerned, I love the old gold look. I think it has a really beautiful charm about it. It kind of a, comes across luxurious and expensive. My final verdict on Ganymed X-Ray by Marc Antoine Barrois is I think it's one of the best releases of the year. I love this one so much and this one is going to be in my high rotation for sure. Given the fact that we're in the summertime presently, I can tell you I'm not going to be wearing this one every single day just because it is quite hot out there and I do think that this is really going to shine as a cold weather selection. So I am going to wear it occasionally as I have been, but in the autumn, you got to take my word for it. I'm going to be wearing this one so much more. I sprayed it on the blotter 15 to 20 minutes ago and it smells so strongly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That was my review of Ganymed X-Ray by Marc Antoine Barrois. Of course, you can find this at Indigo. All of the links are going to be down below and make sure to shoot on over to cephalabon.com for your chance to win a bottle. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this review. Drop your comments below and let me know what do you think of this fragrance or what do you think of other fragrances from this brand? Do you have a favorite? Have you tried the original Ganymed? Have you tried any of the other fragrances that the brand has to offer? I would love to hear from you guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.